I got into triathlon in 2000 after several years of running and um, quite a few friends of mine were already doing triathlon so I joined in with them. I just love triathlon as a sport. For me, you know, it keeps me fit and I actually find that I've got far more energy um, for training. I spent quite a lot of time in hospital and I was far more lethargic then and having got back into training I actually now feel that I've got loads more energy. Um, and, you know, the whole atmosphere of triathlon itself, the races are fantastic. Um, you know, just meeting everybody, with everybody else is just, a, it's always a fantastic day out and it's just, I think it's just a great sport. Second time. Come on, Paula. Triathlon is slightly different for, for obviously, wheelchair athletes. We need a hand cycle instead of a bike and we need a race chair um, in, for, the, for the run section. And obviously these items can be costly, but there are, there are charities which will help fund people to get these items. Uh, in particular, the charity that helped me was Aspire. And it helped me, in particular in hospital, um, because I was able to start training six weeks after my accident, which made a huge difference to me. I was able to go into the pool after six weeks and also down to the gym. And it means that now I can compete along with able-bodied people. And, you know, a lot of sports uh, are segregated and you've got disabled sports and able-bodied sports. And I think, you know, the great thing about triathlon is that we all compete together and we all, we all do the same race. And that is just a fantastic thing to be able to do still. I often get asked how we actually do the triathlon now that obviously I can't walk and I get put into the water and then I do the swim with everybody else and then when I finish the swim I get lifted from the water and get put back into my day chair. From a day chair I get onto my bike and finish the, the bike course and then I get from my bike onto my day chair again and from my day chair into my race chair. So really apart from actually getting lifted out of the water you know we do the whole race ourselves which again is great you know we don't need a lot of help for triathlon. <laughs> I often get asked how we actually do the triathlon now that obviously I can't walk, and which is a great thing. I think a lot of disabled people think they can't do it, and I think that it's important that they, that they realise that they can and they can compete alongside able-bodied. And the BTA are now doing a lot towards speaking to race organisers and making these races accessible for us. Um, and, you know, if if the running's on grass for instance and that's difficult for us but they can actually change the route for us so that we can compete and I think we're just going to see more and more races which are going to have disabled athletes competing. I'm actually back working now full time and um, fit my training around my working really so I think it's important to realise that there's no extra training either for disabled people you know we do the same training as everybody else um, and just fit it in around my ordinary life.